So this is about how fast I type right now. Man, I'm telling you, using your ring finger when typing is so different. Losing H as well. Now it's just a matter of time and practice. Today's day 10 and your boy just hit 60 words per minute. 65 words per minute. But yeah, I'm feeling way faster. 70. Okay guys, so this is about how fast, or should I say how slow, I type right now. About 28 words per minute, ladies and gentlemen. Okay guys, this is keybr.com, um, and keybr.com pretty much here teaches you how to touch type from the easier letters like E and N all the way to the harder letters like um, W, Z, X. I'll see you guys in a bit. All of that was for one letter, the letter W. Man, I'm telling you, using your ring finger when typing is so different. It's day five and I just finished the entire alphabet. My average speed today is 40 up nine from my like day one average speed. But yeah, I'm feeling way faster. Today is day nine, and I'm finally typing, touch typing at the speed that I was typing at before this challenge, and it is so worth it. Please, if you've never learned to touch type before in your life, give it a try, it will pay off. Like it's a skill that basically everyone can benefit from and it's not like anybody's gonna forget how to type. So it's a skill that's gonna serve you for a long period of time. Like everybody types pretty much every single day. But let me just warn you, it's gonna be frustrating at first. It's really hard to adapt to this new way of typing with all of your fingers, especially adjusting to using the pinky and ring finger. Despite this setback, with time and practice, you will improve exponentially, and I promise you, if you've never learned to touch type before in your life, you're gonna be typing faster than you've ever typed before. But at first, my advice is to simply focus on uh, accuracy before trying to type quickly. Train your brain to touch the right keys with the right fingers, no matter how long it takes, and then with time, once you have that kind of foundation down, that's when you'll start to get really fast. And just remember, you're essentially relearning how to type again from scratch, and so hitting the P key with your right pinky instead of your left thumb is gonna feel weird at first, but trust me, it'll pay off. Now let me just warn you, the Q, W, Z, and X keys are gonna be ridiculously hard to learn at first, and it might actually physically hurt, which come up way more often than they need to, by the way, on QBR.com. Like, this is English, not you're a quiet. Like, I'm gonna say I'm hypocritical here, because I still do this all the time, and it's a habit I'm trying to break. Try not to glance down at the keyboard. Once you are engaging all of your fingers correctly, practice that without looking. The more time you spend looking at the screen, not only will you get faster at typing, because your brain will kind of be able to read ahead and start processing the upcoming words while your fingers are still typing out the preceding words, and so your speed will go up. But also, not to mention, being able to stare at just the screen while you're typing will generally improve your overall typing capabilities as you'll be able to, you know, when you're writing an essay, you can stare at what you're writing while you're typing instead of down at the keyboard, right? Every time you look down at the keyboard, you're wasting valuable time. And so, yes, you're gonna get a lot more errors at first when you, you know, are practicing just staring at the screen and not the keyboard but it will pay off, and I've noticed that already. Anyways guys, it's day 10, and I've been using these tricks to kind of help improve my words per minute. Um, I really hope these tips kind of help you with your typing journey. I'll see you guys on day 20. Today's day 10, and your boy just hit 60 words per minute. Big milestone. Day 12, just hit another milestone, 65 words per minute. Five errors, so I know I'm gonna hit this 70. That makes more sense.
Hey guys, today is day 17, and uh, in my second session, I hit 70. Still got two weeks to go. Let's see how far I can push this. I am officially typing at an average speed that is faster than my top speed was on day one. Okay guys, I think I've cracked the code. I'm not 100% sure that this is the most optimal way to practice speed typing, but it's been damn good for me. So that being said, I recommend you practice like this. For the first five to 10 minutes of your session, just remember to warm up, remind your fingers where the keys are, and just start light. Then once you feel comfortable, you're feeling good, and you're ready to actually get into the practice itself, sonic as fast as you can until you make a mistake once you make a mistake revert back to what you were doing for the first five to ten minutes going slowly reminding your brain where certain keys are and then when the next line starts and that timer in the corner as we said go as fast as you can until you make a mistake then rinse and repeat every single line you should do this because eventually you're not going to make a mistake when you're going as fast as you possibly can after enough practice and then sooner or later that little number in the corner will start creeping up and up and up and up this way you're simultaneously practicing your finger placement your accuracy and your speed doing this over and over for the past couple weeks i've been able to confidently say that i've permanently altered my way of typing because even when i'm not practicing on tbr.com I'm typing on a different computer, or even when I'm using my phone, I'm typing with all of my fingers and it feels really good and incredibly swift, natural, and productive, man. Like, I will see you guys all on day 30 for my final review of this month. It's day 30 guys, this challenge is over. And God am I happy I did it. I now have a skill that can serve me for the rest of my life. A life that's probably gonna be pretty technologically based, especially when typing becomes the new walking. But I'm also kind of happy this challenge is actually over now. Practicing speed typing is actually more addictive than you'd think it is. Another reason I'm happy it's finally over is because sitting for prolonged periods of time every single day has not been very good for my back. But seriously, like my doctor thinks I have a herniated disc. <laughs> like what? But yeah, and I'm sure you guys noticed in the video that my posture wasn't particularly particularly good uh, whilst typing. So next month I'll be doing a posture correctional routine every single day for 30 days to revive my back from the dead. So stay tuned if that sounds interesting to you. But that's it for typing guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe you got inspired to try it. I don't know. Highly recommend it. And if you're new around here, I basically do a new 30 day challenge every single month and post a new video every two weeks. How is that possible? I don't know. Magic maybe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Comment down below. Peace. God, my wrists kill from all this typing. Yeah, it's definitely from the typing.